What you need for Christmas is the best roast on the planet and today we are going to get into a prime rib roast. Let's get into it. Some detail on a prime rib. The prime rib is located between the 6th and the 12th rib of the cow. It's in the name. The location is above the rib cage. It is the most succulent part of the animal. It has a combination of the fattiness and the meat. Look at this marbling. It is incredible. This is just beautiful. Context on this piece of meat. It is prime A meat that we have imported from Argentina. At the end of the video, I will tell you how much we paid for this piece of meat. It is 3.8 pounds and we are going to do this in the oven. Normally you could say, hey, let's get into a cast iron skillet. Let's get into a smoker. Let's, because it's Christmas, we are going to do this a traditional way, getting it into the oven and it is going to be delicious. And before we do that, I want to show you something pretty cool that I've got to see in the stores. This stuff. Smirnoff peppermint drink. If you guys have never, ever, ever seen this before, you need to look for it. It is amazing. Two cool things about this from a bottle and a flavor and a taste. One, it's got a little scratch and sniff. Genuine, it like takes you back to the 80s and whatever else. You can actually smell the contents on the outside of the bottle. It is awesome. Cheers to a good Christmas. And with that, we got to get the hat going. Woohoo! Okay, so on this meat, uh, we're going to add garlic. You can just purchase crushed up garlic, not a problem, super easy. We're then going to take fresh thyme and we're going to add in rosemary. With that, we're going to have some olive oil as well as Worcestershire sauce. When you add it onto the meat, it becomes a rub and that rub then will be marinated into the meat. Trust me, you don't need to spice it to hell and gone. You don't need to have a obscene, obscure, mad rub, all the spices in the world. This meat is the center of attention. Treat the meat with the respect it deserves. The amount of fat that the meat has, the marbling, the more you overspice the meat, the less the marbling and the fat will work for you. So when we look at this level of marbling, what happens is that the fat starts to render down and that flavor moves into the meat. Once that flavor moves into the meat, that becomes the center of attention. That's why you don't need to go mad and berserk in all the spices in the world. The other thing that's very important is that there's, of course, there's two sides of the meat. But when you look at this over here, it's actually quite lean, very little fat. On this side over here, you can see the layer and the texture of fat. This is the top side of the meat and this is the meat that you need to have facing upwards. Why? Because when the fat starts to render down and the, and the fat starts to release and starts to become liquid, that will then melt into the meat. And that is super, super, super important in this. Cool, enough of the talking, let's get into the, into the business end. 
Firstly, we take the olive oil and we just give it a good little squish around. Don't worry, it's in the pan. No, no worry whatsoever. Okay, so just give the meat a good tenderizing of the olive oil. If there's olive oil in the pan, you can just squish it around and get that to just be fully coated. If there are little crevices, if there's marks, dents, whatever, get that olive oil into those little crevices. Every piece needs to be covered. Again, how beautiful is this meat? Okay. Now we add in Worcestershire sauce. It doesn't make a difference what the brand is, the make, model, whatever. Just get some Worcestershire sauce. This stuff is awesome. And again, just like the olive oil, we're going to give it a rub and it's going to just tenderize it and it's going to just be amazing. Mm. This is smelling incredible. Okay, now we add some garlic. And again, right, so we absolutely love garlic. Don't be shy. Like add as much or as little garlic as you want to. This will just give that meat the aroma. The garlic does cook down. So don't be too worried about is it too much garlic, is it too little garlic. It does cook down over time. Um, you know, when you think about the volume of time in the oven, it's going to spend. And we're going to be doing this rare, right? So uh, this is perfect, amazing absolutely designed for doing it rare. I will give you all the detail and the amount of cooking time for rare, for medium, for well. Okay, time to add in some thyme as well as the rosemary. And this will give it that earthy flavor. So these are all fresh. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what about the salt? What about the pepper? What about all those other things that go with it? We don't cook a huge amount with salt. Everything is so salted already. Worcestershire sauce already has levels of salt in it. So you don't really need to add additional amounts of salt into your food, let that be said. Let's get this into the oven. Wow. Uh, we're getting in the oven into 425. It's going to cook like that for around 10 minutes. We're then going to adjust the temperature to 350. Okay, guys, it's now time to get this meat out the oven. Oh my word. This is beautiful. My word, this is beautiful. This is exactly where you want to be when it comes to rare. So anything between the 130 to 135 is rare. This is on the button. Let's get it into butcher's paper. So this is just typical butcher's paper. Um, we'll just tear off a piece, wrap it, and we're gonna keep it in the butcher's paper for about 10 minutes. The great thing about butcher paper is that it'll keep the temperature and it gets the liquids to be absorbed in the meat. Time to unwrap the perfect gift. Wow. This is spectacular. It is beyond, beyond 
spectacular. Oh my word. It has the golden color. It has the sheen. It has everything. This is amazing. Just absolutely beautifully amazing. Wow. Truly, truly wow. Okay. Let's cut some pieces and check this out. Beautiful. Look how incredible does this look. Look at those juices. That is beautifully perfect and rare. My word, that is awesome. Just amazingly awesome. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You could not have asked for more perfect if you tried. Look how beautiful these pieces are. This is a work of art. Mm. Oh my word. Mm. So this piece of meat is A grade, 3.8 pounds from Argentina. The price of the meat was $96, excluding shipping. Shipping was another $25 via UPS. You guys tell me, for that amount of money, do you think that is expensive or good value for that volume of meat? Let me know. Great to hear from you on what you guys think about that amount of money being spent on a piece of meat. No words can describe this. This is, I'm speechless. Truly, your family, your friends, your guests will be wowed. Wowed, wowed, wowed. Oh my word. The sheen. It is just spectacular. It is super, super soft. The flavor of the meat is the champion. You don't have beef spice and you don't have sugar and you don't have all these weird crazy spices trying to add flavor to your food you have a piece of meat that is juicy that is soft that is flavorful this is amazing like just just wow here is the entire piece and look how beautiful that looks including all the drips and the drops of all the juices. This is amazing. Take the time, do it, enjoy it. Don't be scared. Start the oven on high for a couple of minutes. Turn it down to 350. Don't worry about, are you going to overburn it? No, you are not. If you enjoy rare food, this is perfect. If you need it a little longer, cook it for a little bit longer. But remember, timing is everything. You're gonna take it out the oven, you're gonna rest it. 
then before you serve it you're going to need to rewarm it a little bit because you're going to have to get all your preparations ready so don't overcook it now because your overcooking is going to be over overcooked so just think about that when you're doing this and this will serve you well and on that note catch you guys on the next one